Hello, my name is Christopher Gaeta, and I'm the founder and an English coach at Gaeta Languages LLC based in San Francisco, California. And today I want to talk to you about a truly excellent program for those of you who are interested in studying medicine on your way to becoming a physician or surgeon. We're going to learn about the Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery program, or MBBS as I'll call it, which is being offered by the International School of Medicine at Zhejiang University. So let's talk a little about the background of Zhejiang University first. Founded in 1897, Zhejiang University is a highly ranked university, both within China and across the world with hundreds of programs of study and a storied and highly awarded faculty. There are already over 5,000 international students studying at Zhejiang University across its seven campuses. Overall, Zhejiang University is ranked third in China, 13th in Asia, and 42nd in the world. So you can't go wrong studying here with 60,000 overall students. Diving a bit deeper, the MBBS program at the Zhejiang University School of Medicine was inaugurated in 2006 and enrolls about 100 students per year. The program itself takes six years to complete, and we'll talk more about the detailed study plan in a moment. What's particularly interesting about this program is the diversity of the student body. The program has attracted students from more than 70 countries, so not only will the education itself be world-class, but the student body is world-class as well. The International School of Medicine is located in Yiwu, about 130 kilometers from the main campus in Hangzhou, the provincial capital, and 300 kilometers from Shanghai. Now, if your point of reference is from most of the countries in the world, 300 kilometers might seem like a really long distance, but with the high-speed rail, you can get from Yiwu to Hangzhou in less than 30 minutes. We also have shuttles from Yiwu to Hangzhou, According to the United Nations and the World Bank, EWU is the largest wholesale marketer of consumer goods in the world and attracts over half a million foreign visitors from over 100 countries and regions. Locally residing are 1.9 million residents, among whom are 30,000 foreigners. So you won't be getting bored in EWU. All right, so let's turn our attention to the International School of Medicine. For such an illustrious institution, it should be no surprise that the school serves the national double first class initiative by delivering top quality care and transforming health professional education. The campus is brand new, opening this September 2023. So far, there are already 67 supervisors ready to mentor the 300 masters and 60 doctoral students. They're expecting over 1,500 on-campus students by next year. I'm very impressed by the talent that they've already recruited for the school and so quickly. And in addition to the on-site mentors, researchers, and clinicians, there are ample opportunities to collaborate internationally. There are existing collaborations with universities in Canada and the United States, the United Kingdom, Japan, and Singapore. You're going to hear a lot about the fourth affiliated hospital of Zhejiang University, which is a class A tertiary comprehensive hospital in Yiwu, ranking in the top 5% of those in China. This hospital is central to the education taking place at the International School of Medicine. And as you can see here, there are ample opportunities to learn from real life patients coming and going at the hospital, which is still growing in size and capabilities. So in addition to the fourth affiliated hospital, they just opened the International Institutes of Medicine, which comprise, of course, a dormitory and cafeteria for the students and staff, but also meeting rooms and animal research centers and laboratories. There are five main foci in this institution, reproductive medicine, regenerative and aging medicine, oncology, global health, and traditional Chinese medicine. So everyone can find the right training and experience for their own goals. The overarching organization for these three institutes, the International School of Medicine, the International Institute of Medicine, and the fourth affiliated hospital, is the International Hub for Health. Altogether, these three organizations under the parent IHH will provide first-class care, train future doctors, and advance research and translation. If all of this hasn't yet been enough to convince you to consider the MBBS program at Zhejiang University International School of Medicine, 
Here are a few of the reasons why this program should be at the top of your list. The training is based on gaining competency in core and advanced skills necessary to be a health professional. Unlike other programs where mentors come and go, the MBBS program prizes longitudinal mentorship to see you through from the beginning to the end of your training. The curriculum is interdisciplinary, so you'll have the broadest background possible as you begin your career post-training. And this interdisciplinary approach allows a new professionalism, incorporating studies in humanities and social science, and this allows a broad and comprehensive attitude toward medicine. In the MBBS program, you've got six years of curriculum planned out. The first year includes general courses in the pre-med period, including your first steps in the clinic. In years two and three, you'll move the focus from the macro to micro lens, enjoying specific medical courses and deepening your knowledge. Years four and five move you into the junior clerkship, integrating your basic and clinical courses and focusing on bedside training. The final year is your senior clerkship, including your clinical rotation. This is where you'll develop your overall competency as a clinician. And throughout all six years, you'll be working on your Chinese language abilities, which will add value to your life, not just personally, but professionally as well. In my area, there's a huge demand for multilingual health professionals, especially those that can communicate in Chinese. I can only imagine that the demand for doctors who speak multiple languages will continue to increase as our world moves toward more openness and internationalization. Zhejiang University feels so strongly about bringing in a competitive and highly achieving cohort of students that they offer plenty of funding. One opportunity is the LEAD Scholarship for new MBBS students, offering a one-time award of 20,000 RMB. But unlike any of the schools I've ever attended, they're offering the scholarship automatically to the most qualified 5% of the incoming student body. Other scholarships include annual academic performance scholarships awarded to different classes of students with prizes from 1,000 to 5,000 RMB. Because the campus is brand new, you're going to benefit from the latest in architectural styles, technology, and aesthetics. The dormitories have private bedrooms with ensuite bathrooms shared between two or three students. Of course, they're outfitted with internet access, air conditioners, and have on-site laundry. I want to end today's video with a quick overview of the application procedure. All of the details are available in the admissions bulletin, but we'll go over the most important pieces. So first, let's talk about eligibility. Non-Chinese citizens under the age of 25 with a high school degree can apply if they have at least 70% marks in math, physics, chemistry, and biology. For those who don't speak English natively, you'll need to have at least a 6.0 on the IELTS or a 75 on the TOEFL IBT. For the application itself, you'll need the standard pieces, identification documentation, a high school diploma and transcript, two letters of recommendation, a personal statement, and any other supporting documents like awards and standardized test scores. Luckily, they have an online application process, so you'll be able to save yourself the time and trouble of international mail when you're getting started. So how much does it all cost? The application fee is 800 RMB or a little over 100 euro. The annual tuition shakes out to 42,800 RMB or just under 6,000 euro. And coming from the United States, I have to say, I cannot imagine getting a medical degree for such a small amount. You're getting one of the best educations that the largest country in the world can offer for less than the price of a luxury car. That really is shocking to a US audience. So, if you're ready to begin your journey toward providing world-class healthcare and getting an MBBS degree with the International School of Medicine at Zhejiang University, get started by visiting the website here or by emailing the team with the email address. Lastly, I'd like to add a personal note if I can. I've been working with Zhejiang University for several years now, and I've had the privilege of traveling to Zhejiang province to visit and work for a brief trip just before the COVID pandemic. The students, the staff, the faculty are as dedicated and hardworking as any I've met anywhere else. The quality of education that I've personally witnessed is similarly superb. Uh, honestly, if I were two decades younger and I weren't afraid of blood, I would absolutely be applying for the MBBS program with Zhejiang University. I think that you can rest assured that you'll be getting the best education, the best experience, and the best leg up for your future as a clinician or researcher.